Did you know that Mid Journey version 5 is out? Simply go to settings and select it. I want to find out if it's better or worse at creating website designs. Let's find out. The first thing I'm going to do is try to create a website I've done before on Mid Journey 4 and see how it compares to version 5. Now, I've done lots of Mid Journey designs, and this one here was one of my favorites. This one was a website design for someone who's creating a design course, and it looked great. Mid Journey actually lets me check my history here, so I can pull out the exact prompt I use in Mid Journey 4 and then plug this guy into Mid Journey 5. I put this into Discord and here are the results. The first thing I noticed about Mid Journey 5 is that the designs are very unique. Every single one here as a variation looks different, but on top of that, none of them are flat. They're all skewed at an angle. Version 3 here was my favorite. When I took a closer look at it, it definitely has all the elements that would look like it is a website. The problem though is that since it's on an angle, it would be hard to replicate. If you're looking at how to start using version 5 yourself, simply forward slash settings and then select select to use MJ version 5. Now with Mid Journey 5, you're going to need to have a paid account. This is something I already have. And once you do, you'll be able to use it immediately in Discord. Now let me take a look at another design. Here's one I did in Mid Journey 4. It was for a motorcycle website. And what I liked about this landing page splash image in Mid Journey version 4 was that it looked wild. So I'm going to try and replicate this using this same prompt in Mid Journey 5. What I found interesting, however, was that the types of websites produced by Midjourney 5 looked very different from version 4. Firstly, I had a few of the screens happening at the top versions, and on the bottom versions I had just a wallpaper, and on the bottom right I had the only one that looked like a website. I went ahead and tried to upscale version 4. What I found was that the upscaling was almost immediate, as if it actually has an upscaled version ready to go. This one is probably the closest to looking like a website that I could replicate on Editor X or even inside of Figma, but it doesn't look that great. The other two examples here we have is the one with a bicycle basically inside of a screen and it looks like a very Western website. This one I don't mind. Again though, however, is because of the tilt and the screen, it would make it harder to replicate. My personal preference is Mid Journey 4's version. I like this one so much, I used it inside of a thumbnail. But what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer version 4, this one here, or do you prefer the versions that are made in version 5? One of my other favorite designs was this one here for a shoe website. And it basically was meant to be something like Nike shoes using teal as well as orange colors. And I have a prompt ready to go for this. So let me see if I can replicate this one here as well in Mid Journey 5. I copy pasted it in and the results for this one, again, weren't as great as version 4. This is quite surprising. I'm guessing that Mid Journey 5 was trained with more basic types of images that are more realistic. So I'm getting a lot more shoes here, which look great, but they don't have that same flair that Mid Journey 4 had. If I try to view an upscaled version of a version 2 here at the very top right and zoom into it a little bit closer, you'll see how it looked like a very basic type of website. There's no real things that make it stand out in comparison to the previous one, which looked unique and interesting and quite aesthetically pleasing. In my last video, I also tried to get Mid Journey to create topography for me. And this was quite a difficult task because it never replicated the letter I want exactly the same. So I tried to grab one of the prompts here to create a nice looking letter T with some plants and life around in Mid Journey 5. And I actually was surprised to see that Mid Journey 5 did a slightly different job at this task. Unlike Mid Journey 4, Mid Journey 5 actually produced the letter T three times out of four. The last one looks like a letter E, but it also followed the prompt quite well, creating some unique styled examples of the letter T around plant life. And I think this is what made it actually perform better than the previous version. If I had a look at an upscaled version of this one with a letter T in what looks like a book or a novel with plant life around it, that looks great. And then if I have a look at this second version with a giant letter T with some plants growing, this looks absolutely stunning and unique as well. And so I think I'll use this letter T. I'm going to save it and it's actually quite a simple one to be able to implement into a website. In this case, I'll be adding it to my Editor X website. 
I'm designing a book for topography, color theory, and much more. And I want to slowly try and fix this side up so that it has lots of cool AI aspects as part of it. The letter T that I have and I'm uploading is actually quite easy to implement. And this is what I like about AI art. It's going to transform how you implement and change website designs. Here, I can really make this letter T work with this section for the website. In the next video though, I'll be showcasing how to do background patterns using AI. It's a new feature in Midjourney 5. So don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.